put here by the grace of uh, His Excellency the President's uh, wisdom of finding Elimu scholarships. We have 18,000 odd. I've been told that uh, she's doing very well. And uh, you can see for yourself how she looks. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm uh, this afternoon in uh, Kirinyaga. Uh, I started in Nyeri where I went to several schools. I've also been to Muranga in the central region. Uh, with regard to the construction of CBC classrooms. Nationwide, I'm very happy. We are going to actually commission the first completed classroom tomorrow, somewhere in uh, Ugunja, sub-county in Siaya. There are many that are at the roofing stage. Uh, in Nyeri today, I saw quite a number at the lintel stage. I also laid foundation stones. I've laid a foundation stone here, and the county commissioner tells me that uh, all contracts have been taken and people are on the ground. The important message to tell the people is that uh, our target is the first week of March, so that as we start the exams, as our children start uh, the exams, we do not want anybody in school, as is the rule. This will uh, accomplish the first phase of uh, the 5,200 classrooms countrywide. Uh, there are construction going on across the whole nation. I've been to the Rift Valley region, to Western, to Nyanza. I have an officer in the Northern region called Dwale there. I've seen many buildings at the uh, roofing and lintel stage there. So this is uh, a job that we are going to accomplish. From the Ministry of Education side, I have uh, put in place uh, First of all, the government has already approved for us a total of 5.2 billion. 1.2 billion which we saved from our infrastructure money through the wisdom of the president. And the 4 billion that the president has released to us that is available right now. So we hope that anybody who has completed and forwards the bills for payment, this will be done very, very quickly. For those very, very few, less than 1% who have not taken up their contracts, my instructions at this point is that uh, the Deputy County Commissioners and the County Commissioners uh, involved together with my people should award this to the next available contractor so that we continue in the same pace. I was in Kilifi, I started with the coast and I was in Kilifi uh, about two weeks ago. And at that time, all the 144 classrooms were being constructed. So this is the spirit and maybe going forward the infrastructure money will be uh, disbursed in this manner so that we get value for money because these classrooms are being constructed at Kenya shilling 788,000 as against the usual 1.2 million. So the question you ask yourself is where does the 450,000 go? And uh, the answer is maybe it goes to somebody's pocket. So once again, we, uh, we want to reiterate uh, the president's uh, instruction for us to construct 10,000 classrooms. The second phase will start in April as soon as we have marked the exams. And if there are any balances, we shall deal with it to the extent that by the time we are leaving government, both my most humble self and His Excellency the President, we shall leave everything in good stead for the CBC to continue. I want to correct a notion which again was misreported. I said that this government, under His Excellency Huru Mugai Kenyatta, has given me instructions to ensure that there is a smooth transition as far as education is concerned. And this is why we are going to make sure that even the exams that will take place in December are ready and can be given. They will be ready by the end of next month. I have not said anything against uh, or for the coming government. I do not think I will be part of that government because I'm serving in this one. And the way I've been trained, I only serve in what I have today. I have no political inclination. So for those who are bashing us that they are going to review, you wait for your time and review. For now, mm -hmm. we are working for His Excellency the President and we are working for the children. And we are doing it in good faith. So. If we leave the exams ready to be administered and you come and you don't want to administer them, that will be your wisdom. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.